help us understand what may have been motivating this guy. Do you, do you have any sense? Well, I realize that you can't reduce it to religion, but neither should we dismiss you, it you out know what? of hand. I'm going to have you stand on that X because I can oh. barely see you in that okay. light. So it's, uh, um, there you go. He went into the uh, into Pulse screaming, Allahu Akbar. That means God is greater. And clearly there was some kind of a religious motivation pulsing, if you will, through his, through his mind, through his conscience. Now, you know, yes, Let I realize. Doesn't that break your heart more than it breaks almost anyone else's? Because this is something you hold dear mm -hmm. that he is using as a weapon, as a club of violence. Um, I'll tell you what breaks my heart even more, Dr. Drew, is that journalists do not hold accountable the very apologists for people like this. Let me give you a quick example from yesterday. There was a, a woman from CARE, the uh, Council on American Islamic Relations, on CNN, and she did all the right things for publicity reasons, you know, um, condemned it, um, you know, we're in solidarity, our condolences. What she should have been asked is, sure, you condemn it, but is your organization also reaching out to mosques and asking them, in fact, demanding of them that they not preach intolerance towards gay and lesbian people? Mm, right. Okay? She was never asked that. Would that, would, is that. would that be a factor? Is that something that could happen? Of course it could happen. I'm a, I'm a product of a, of a mosque in which that was preached. And thank God I turned in, out... Intolerance to, was preached? Intolerance. Have you gone absolutely. back and, and confronted that? I did. I did. Through critical thinking.